So we have a very simple website, which is a web e-reader. We can type a file name here and read it. So let's copy the first file name, paste it and click on read. And I can see we can read the file. Now in this video, we have to read the file flag.txt. But if I click on read, I can see it says not authorized. This is the forbidden path CTF challenge of Pico CTF. The website that we're accessing is in this directory and the flag is at this directory but the website is filtering absolute file paths we have to get past the filter and read the flag now since the absolute file path is getting filtered we can try to search for the flag with the relative path so if i type dot dot it will go up one directory and click on read i can see it says file does not exist so i was in the current directory html when i type dot dot i searched in the nginx for the file if I type dot dot forward slash again and click on read, the file still does not exist. So I moved up one directory and I'm in the shared directory right now. So the file does not exist in the shared directory. Let's move up one more directory and click on read. And I can see I found the flag. So this method of searching the file with relative path is called a path traversal attack. I'll show you a better example. So I'm in the project directory right now and the project directory is under the desktop directory. If I type cd space dot dot, I can see I moved up one directory and I'm in the desktop directory right now. If I type this, I'll be in the hack hunt directory. But if I type this, I'll be in the home directory and I can see I'm in the home directory right now. If I type this one more time, I'll be at the top of the file structure. But if I type cd dot dot here, I'm again at the top of the file structure. There is no more directory before this. No matter how many times I type dot dot forward slash, I cannot go back because I'm already at the top of the file structure. So this is what we did here. I can type dot dot forward slash multiple times. And since I'm already at the top of the file structure, I will get the flag. I'll copy this flag, paste it, and click on submit flag. And I can see we were correct. So we are going over the medium challenges of Pico CTF. If you wanna follow along, Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.